Where's my camera? Oh, geez. Uh, uh, let's go brown. So it is adventure time yet again. This time I'm taking my float tube out on Deer Creek for some ice off action. Alright, it is the following day. I am back. I'm going to show other techniques to get along the edge of the ice. A couple different rods and so Let it again. Uh, three other groups have shown up since I've been here. It comes slow and hurry out. So there's probably quite a bit of people on the water. Let's go hit it. Well, I am back out. Uh, there is a huge dilemma. <laughs> I, it refroze. I was not expecting that. Um, the only open water looks like from here is that little peninsula. It's not, and that's where everybody's fishing. So taking the tube out right in front of them probably, you know, that would not be proper etiquette. So you know, I might still go down there and try to get on the edge and just cast from shore. Probably, hopefully I'll file out later in the day, but yeah, that uh, puts a big hamper on me using my tube. I was going to take it out and just get right on the edge of the ice, but I don't know if that's going to happen now. But oh well, nothing to do about that. Yeah, I I did not anticipate this. I did not think it would refreeze over. So it's supposed to get above 60 degrees today, so it should melt off. So I'm going to just there's a tiny bit of open water right there and shallow. There's a bunch of people fishing over there where the water is open, so can't go over there. But I guess I'll fish here from the shore and hopefully it melts off dang it oh yeah i did not think that would happen oh yeah it did get cold last night i guess so we'll try it it's hard to get warm so it is it is starting to melt off but you can't really go fish down there because there's too many people so so this fish in this little bit of open water until until it all clears off and then i'll take the tube out starting off with a, a 10 foot intermediate sink tip with a heavily weighted balance bruise leech, the largest version I tie of it for ice off. And then at four feet down from that, a red and black booby. So that's what I was using last night. So try that. This, but with the weighted fly in front, every time you strip it, it dies down, but the booby swims up. So you kind of got two flies going in opposite directions. Very effective technique, even, even when it's not ice off. Fish on the balance bruised. Not a very big guy. But I will take it. That is first fish. I forgot to bend my reel back out. I dropped it and it got a little ding in it. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Man, this is just a little too much ice. There you go. Swim away, buddy. Thank you. Swim away. Not a good release, but. If I step on that, I'm going right through, so. Try this again. The weighted leech. Sean, off to the paws. Some of the balance bruised. Oh, uh, she's cut on the ice. Oh no. Oh man, it's all not enough. Oh, the brown. Nice. That's a little brown. Really tell that brown caused a tangled disaster. That took me a good five minutes to get out. I didn't want to have to retie. But I got it. My feet are roasting. I forgot that I have my heated socks on from being out in the water. Oh, shooty guy. <laughs> Had one on the black and red booby. Dang it. Platform is melting, it's getting slippery. Going over to my midge tip for a bit. There's my point play. I got a medium sized balanced bruise leech in the middle. I got a hair's ear soft tackle, a large one with bead in the middle and at the top, an orange blob. So we'll try this for a bit. This guy just on the sink, on the balanced bruise. Fat little guy. And he started stripping. I was thinking also I could see my orange blob going out the other direction. Oh man, my line. I just jacked up my line pretty good. So. I just can't see him. Nice fat little rainbow. Oh, he's bad. 
<laughs> it's not terribly long, but he is chunky. There we go. Man, he's he is fat. He's not terribly long, but he's chunky. Nice right, chunky boy. Let me go. Sorry, buddy, I'm throwing it. I don't want to fall through there. That bring one I saw come in before me, they're already leaving, so I don't think to me then we're getting into fish. At least I'm guessing. Ooh, that was on the surface. At least I'm guessing not. For a half hour, then we'll get out on the tube. Everyone's left from over there. I could go over to that strip of open water over there. I may do that, but it's a little deeper right here, so I think I'll, I'll probably wait till this ice comes off a little farther here. Got one on the beach, Tid. Super slow retrieve. On the size 14, balanced Bruce Leach with a long tail. Can't see. Another decent little rainbow. That little guy. Come here, buddy. Uh, you guys pretty nice, Rainbow. Chunky. Pretty nice. Chunky little bow on the balance bruise. Hey, buddy. There you go. Thank you. Now, yeah, I'm going to go out right on the tube. Uh, of course, there's more open water. There's a bunch of people there now again, so. I'll just stick right here where I'm fishing, just go get right on the edge. Just, this little thin layer of ice is refusing to leave, so yeah, we'll try it. Okay, we're off. Not a whole lot of open water. I bet I can break through some of this ice. I'm going to slowly work my way back and forth trying to break it up because this is refusing to melt off. I just had a tug. Just caught on the ice and I was kicking off on dunk. So. I'm uh, just kind of dry. I'm using my midge tip right now. So back to techniques. Um, I was hoping all this like thin ice would melt it off. So something that's been pretty effective for me and other people I know is take a tube or a boat right on the edge of the ice and then just slowly strip flies right along the edge. Um, that's for the midge tips are really effective because it's only like a four to six foot sink tip, so the flies stay pretty shallow and you just drag it along the edge and it's been pretty. Pretty successful for me. All this ice, <laughs> it just won't go away. Just slowly kicking back. And... Oh man, oh, this might be, oh geez. <laughs> oh crap, he's under the, just don't go under the ice. <laughs> oh, you can't see it. Oh, shit, I don't think I got that. I think the camera was facing up and he jumped through the ice. He's on the leech. This is the third uh, one I've had on. Oh, oh, shoot. Just kicking right along with the edge as I can get. That's a nice rainbow. And that's nice fish. That's, yeah, that's a healthy rainbow right there on the balance bruise leech. It's money. It's a healthy, healthy, solid rainbow. Very nice. Yeah. Let's let him go. Thanks, buddy. First, I actually landed fish out on the tube. Try this again. Benefit with a midge tip. I mean, I guess you could do it on other lines. You can fish with, you can ideally set up to fish with three flies. So if you're fishing slow, have them about uh, five feet apart each fly, you're fishing different depths. Sometimes I just focus in on one thing and you can just switch all three flies to the same thing. But a slow retrieve. Yeah, on the leech again. Nothing on the orange blob. Or my soft tackle hair shirt for that matter. So.
Another chunky rainbow. <laughs> oh, this guy's fat. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Healthy little guy. He's fat. Are you 15 inches? You're chunky. This ring will not hold still. Jeez, hold still. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right, well, and this guy will not hold still, so I'll do it. Nice rainbow, swim away, thank you. <laughs> little turd, hold still for a second. Then some determined little fish, because right there, oh, dang it, man. You can all sorts of like bumps. Done a pretty major switch up. Well, not major, but. Uh, I got rid of my hair's air soft tackle in the middle and the orange blob. Instead, I put a, a size 14 balanced black and red diamond double each, which is pretty much money. There's the mid fly and then a holographic soft tackle up top. So I'm using two balanced leeches and a soft tackle, a holographic one. So we'll try that for a bit. It's a good one. Da, 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 da. And off. Felt, felt pretty solid. Of course, I guess you never know. I could have been foul hooked, but. I like a good one. Guy on the black and red. It's pulling up the cast again. Came out of nowhere. Not terribly big, but we will take him. Pretty guy. Oh, that's really pretty rainbow, actually. Not huge, but man, he's colored up. It's a nice looking little male. Yeah. Uh, nice print male. Let me go. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. I thought I was hitting bottom because I was just getting a tink, 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 like eight times. So I thought oh, I'm just hitting the bottom and all of a sudden it was just hard, hard, hard. I don't think he's very big. He's just very enthusiastic. Man, what is he on? Yeah. Pretty strong. Is he on the black and red again? Yeah, black and red. Yeah, he's actually a pretty decent fish. He's chunky. Yeah, that's a nice fashion. That's a nice rainbow. Very healthy. And the black and red bounce leech. Yeah. Very nice. Nice rainbow. Swim away, buddy. Thank you so much. That was fun, man. He was really going on a show. He was about pretty hard. It was fun. Free field. I wasn't even kicking just what the current. Gonna drag me this way. I'm gonna guess he's on the black and red. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna have to switch my bottom to a black and red because black and red is definitely getting the love. And he's all wrapped up. Actually, he may be on the blue and just wrapped up. I don't know. Be a mess getting out regardless. No, oh, yeah, he's on the black and red. Just created a mess. Oh, gee, this is gonna be fun. Yep, black and red. Probably switch the bottom one to a black and red. It's definitely outperforming the blue. Let's let this guy go. There's a chunky bow on black and red. Balance leech. Bad release. There you go. Solid tug. There we go. Oh, yep. There we go. Fish on. Oh, dang it. Pretty effective tactic. You, you can use a floating line or midge tip. But you want your flies pretty shallow right along the edge of the ice and just slowly kick along the edge. And they'll come out from under that. I mean, a lot of times are violent takes. It, it can be a lot of fun when it's when it, when it's on like that. Another time, just a big solid dunk. Well, three wax go along the edge of the ice, didn't land any of them, so. 
switch back to my other sink tip with the booby and the heavily weighted bruise leech. Cord. <laughs> oh, things on the bruise leech, but man. I don't know. He might be on the booby. Yeah, he's on the bruised. I think. Yeah, he's too high up. Definitely on the leech, man. Cast right on the edge of the ice. So let's sneak him for a strip. Boom! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Strong, strong, strong. Oh, that's nice. Nice little rainbow. Yeah. Terribly long, he's thick. Strong. Rainbows are not holding still. He's a pretty solid guy, he's not terribly long, but he's. He is needy. He'll fold still, which you probably won't. They won't. Oh my gosh, man. That's the one problem with. Well, I guess you're not seeing that. <laughs> Dang it. And the fish do not want to cooperate today. Going crazy every time I try to hold them for a picture or whatever. So it is break time. Uh, I am about to have me a fantastic snack. Uh, many years ago, I started a church mission in Argentina long ago, and I would buy this brand of Alpahor every flipping day, like almost every day. I ate a ridiculous amount of these Pantoche Triples. They're so good. Oh, they're delicious. I'm looking forward to that. And I'm gonna have me a buy drink. So I'm thinking consistent bumps, uh, not terribly fast action, but pretty consistent. So um, usually right along the ice is where. It, do well and the last one I caught was right on the edge of the ice but the rest of them have been pretty close to shore so anyways it's anyways it is break time slash drink time I forgot to mention I found these on Amazon yeah I've looked for this brand forever because this is the brand I'd always eat but found them on there they're not cheap but they're worth it took a break for a bit got some food put another layer on because the wind has picked up and it's a little chilly so the ice is definitely drifting in over where I was fishing. There's a lot of open space now. There's very little over there. Right now, although it's pushed the ice, so where I was fishing, it's almost and it's almost to the shore now. Those people over there are just getting clogged off. So. Now the open water's over here. This one is right on the ice because just like a few seconds after I hit the water, boom, on. I think he's on the bruise leech. Yeah. Ooh, oh, oh. They're chunky. Edge of the ice and you know, like almost instant. You just hit a diet coke can. <laughs> That's good for him. This guy is thick. He's needy, he's strong. Yeah, man, a torpedo. Strong. Bounce, bruise, leech. Well, both fish I've tried to film in my little selfie stick have gotten out. You know, gotten off before I turned on my camera. So, I'll just have to put a still frame. Yeah, a chunky little guy. Once again, I don't have a whole lot more time that I can fish, but uh, that was strong. Fish and mish on the midge tip. So another solid whack did not stick. Oh, it sucks the timing with stuff. Uh, I just got a mega Charlie horse to my leg. 
But I was trying to deal with that, and all of a sudden my line stead started tugging. <laughs> oh man, that hurt! Oh my gosh! Ouch! Ouch! My other rod. I'm gonna try to catch one more fish and then bail. Like that, fish on. Just like that. Very nice. All right, we'll try to catch at least one more after this. He's on the leech. Okay, little bow, not terribly huge, but I will take it. Battery's dead, so we'll let him go. Thanks, buddy. Slow away. Another one. Oh, no, shoot, dang it. <laughs> you went for it more than once. I just went sinking. On the bounce leech again. Chunky rainbow on the balanced bruise leech. It's a large one, so I, when I tie specifically for ice off, it's heavily weighted. It's the biggest version of it that I tie. Strip like a three second pause. On the fish. Yeah, yet to get one on the booby. Let him go. No. I'm just on the sink. This guy's on the bruise. Ooh. I don't know, he's way wrapped up. Actually, he might be on the booby. No, he just I think he took the leech and then just got wrapped up with the booby. He's definitely wrapped up. Yeah, that's what happened. He got la Ooh, that's chunky. Yeah, all right. Looks like he went for the leech. Man, he's fat. That's a fatty. Man, he is chunk, 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 chunk. Absolutely. Thank you. He made a number of my line, so. And my camera. Oh, gee. Uh, uh, <laughs> you saw that? He ended up through the ice. Jumped twice and ended up. He like jumped through the ice. That might be kind of a good one. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Let me have a shower water here. <laughs> that was crazy. Man, these are chunky, dude. And that might be the last fish because now my line is a dis knotted mess. And uh, that is going to be it. My line's all knotted up, so I go anyway. It's been fun. Definitely pretty, pretty decent action. This guy's a, another chunk. <laughs> Just let him go. Thanks, buddy. That was fun. It's been a fun day. Well, that is all she broke. Let my boat dry out before I pack it out. I talked to a handful of other fly fishermen, including Colton, who won one of my fly giveaways. He happened to be here, and they didn't get into much action, or if any at all. So there's a lot of people fishing now, so maybe they're getting into fish. So. But overall, it's pretty fun. So yeah, out on the tube. You guys might want to hit it. I don't know. The ice probably done in a couple of days. It's coming off. Well, well it's coming off quick. It's kind of shifted over, but. And you can see there's a ribbon clear across the lake there, and yeah, it's opening up good over there. So, yeah, it's been pretty fun. Uh, appreciate you watching. Give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I appreciate everyone who has you know, 
supported my channel. So yeah, give it a thumbs up. Until next time.